So the use case here is there's a need to migrate this data to cloud um, and and as seamlessly and as easily as possible. So that's that's kind of like the uh, the use case that we're going to uh, look at today. Okay, so this is our database running on RDS right now, and then I have created a couple of pipelines. I'm going to go over the pipelines before I run them, um, so you get an idea of what uh, what actually is going to happen. So I have a surprise here. Uh, as you can see, we have multiple destinations uh, uh, in the pipeline. So this origin is client origin, which supports 11, 12, uh, 18, and 19C uh, Oracle versions, right? And this is designed to uh, get all the data from your database that we just saw and um, migrate that data to Databricks uh, and uh, Snowflake at the same time here. And before, again, I run the pipeline, I want to show uh, that we don't currently have anything either in Snowflake or Databricks. So basically, we're starting from scratch as uh, as the um, as the pipelines uh, run, so this is our schema in in Snowflake. Uh, we don't currently have the tables, and then I'm going to switch over to Databricks and run this query to see if we have any tables in here. Okay, so we're starting from scratch. That's that's kind of like the idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this pipeline. Okay, so now if we look at our jobs, we should see this pipeline running already. It can take a couple seconds to load. Okay, there we go. So, so here we can see that it's probably already creating the, the Delta Lake tables in Databricks first. So we have two tables created already can go back and look at the metrics. So now you can see it's already moved on to Snowflake. So we should have uh, a retail data warehouse tables being created. So we have departments. So we, we pretty much have all the tables created in Snowflake. We should have the same thing in uh, there we Delta Lake, and we should have uh, records coming in already. Customers eleven thousand three hundred four, which matches our uh, our source in Oracle, and then we can confirm the same uh, in Snowflake. There eleven three hundred four. Right, so this shouldn't take too long, but I was mentioning earlier, you can see everything that's going on down below, all the metrics, and as you can see, the pipeline uh, has stopped automatically based on the event framework that we have uh, within the platform as well. So as soon as the origin sends no more data, I've attached a, a pipeline stopper. 